At Asianet News, I have with me Ajay Kumar Sood. He is the principal scientific advisor to the government of India. So I want to know from you, India has a huge talent pool for uh, semiconductor design. But as far as uh, equipment manufacturing is concerned, and also fabrication of the chips, India is not at par with other nations as of now. Speaking about India EU TTC, do you have any sort of uh, provisions in this uh, trade and tech agreement wherein you talk about cooperation for building fa- fabrication uh, facilities? so right now uh, the present uh, three working groups have different uh, object uh, objectives and deliverables specific question whether we have the equipment building for for semiconductor fab and all it's not explicitly there but it is not ruled out because what we need to see is where the two strengths are complementary to each other and that's where we should build rather than we uh, take any random thing where we don't have the strength we need to do that and i'm sure uh, in time to come uh, it can be considered yeah so one of the uh, major things that india is very well known for is dpi uh, and we have uh, you know advanced our country and we have taken it to great strides yeah. as far as dpi is concerned are we trying to expand it even yeah. further and collaborating with other countries answer is yes as you know that uh, uh dpi has been extremely successful uh example of india's uh, technical uh, pro- prowess and uh, in g20 also it came up and now the idea is uh, to really see with uh, for example with the european union how do we enable for example the e signature uh, so that the cross border uh, trade becomes much much more easier so answer is yes and as you know in few countries the upi is already enabled for example in singapore in uh, france uh, uh, eiffel tower and few other countries it has already been enabled so the question is how do we take it forward and uh, my feeling is that many many countries are looking at india uh, from africa and from other asian countries where they would like to learn from our experience and we are very happy to uh, uh, help them and cooperate with them in taking dpi so but when we talk about advance uh, advancements in dpi it also comes with a lot of challenges for example cyber security it is not just a transaction uh, in a very naive way enormous amount of cyber security issues have been taken care of. 